Welcome to your Transfer Bonanza, the show that, well, this is where Ian gives like a good spiel, find a little surreal metaphor about what we're actually doing, but I can't do that and he's not here. Uh, allegedly he's in Edinburgh, but I haven't seen it. We're just hearing rumours from the north and given that on this show we believe no rumours, I don't believe he's having a really successful time in Edinburgh. He's probably just sat in his mum's kitchen eating beans out of a can. That seems more like Ian Smith in my opinion. Right, let's crack on. This is your Transfer Bonanza, the show that tells you all the lies that are in the papers. Because the papers are full of lies, so we then just tell you the lies, so we all know they're lies. Essentially, lots of lies. Let's start off with a player who extraordinarily has never featured in one of these videos. And when you consider the number of players we've gone through in these videos, that is incredible. There's actually still someone out there who could be linked to us and we haven't mentioned them. We're talking, of course, of Marcus Rocco. Yes, I am. He's 24 years old. He's Argentinian. He plays a sport in Lisbon. He is a left-sided defender who apparently can play in a sort of back three wing-back system or as an actual left wing-back, which works perfectly for the way Lou Van Howe plays football. Problem is, He's now refusing to train at Sporting because he wants to come and join us. And they're now disciplining him for refusing to train. So we love his enthusiasm. We've got a lot of time for that. Apparently he's going to cost £16 million. Um, it looks like he's going to go somewhere because you don't just randomly go, well, I'm not training anymore. I want to go somewhere else. That seems a bit mental. So hopefully this one is actually real and he is going to come. But until we see him holding the shirt, this means nothing, all right? It's just interesting. It's nice to talk about. Things that are also nice to talk about, Daily Blind. Uh, he did an interview on Sky Sports News and uh, his Ajax manager, Frank the Bull, also did an interview. Frank said, well, if the right offer comes in, we'll let him go and we'd be really happy if he joins a really big club. It's great for him, but we'd like him to stay another year. Obviously, we won't let him go for free. So the club are happy to sell. Blind says, yeah, if Manchester United make an offer, that'd be great, I'd like to go there. It does seem that he'd probably prefer to go to Barcelona, but he is open to a move. He sort of put himself in the shop window and just said, I'm happy to play for Manchester United or Barcelona, but which professional footballers aren't going to say that? There are only a few that play for like Real Madrid or it's probably the only club that they're not going to come out and say, I'd like to play for Man United or Barcelona. Um, so he's a possibility, which is nice. Let's move on to a guy you might not have heard of him. We don't really speak about him much on these videos. He's called Arturo Vidal, pretty underground. I'm sure you haven't heard his name. Um, basically, he's a guy who keeps signing Manchester United shirts like while still playing for Juventus, which is funny, and he still hasn't joined us. And the newspapers still write his name as a big headline to make you click on it and read it and then go like, well, he might join, he might not join, the club don't really want to sell him, but Man United would quite like to buy him, so they're watching him, they haven't really put a bid in, and it's just so frustrating. Basically, this is a situation as it stands in terms of media lies. The papers look like they're getting bored of it. They claim, though, that his agent was in Manchester on Monday. Do they have any proof of this? No, they, I mean a picture would do, maybe some sort of a picture of his flight ticket or something to say he was on that plane. Just any evidence other than he was there, probably. Um, so no proof of that. They also claim that United have a Friday deadline to make a bid. How, why would that be a thing and how would they know? It, just, it doesn't make any sense. So they're claiming that it's probably their deadline. We need another Vidal story on Friday, then we'll make Man United put their bid in. We're telling they've got to do it on Friday. More nonsense surrounding Vidal. Di Maria, uh, lots to talk about him. Looks like he's going to leave Real Madrid. Two horse race. One horse, loads of money. Uh, will pay extraordinary wages, has Champions League and are almost guaranteed to win their league. That's Paris Saint-Germain. The other club doesn't have Champions League football, isn't necessarily going to win the league. And there's only one choice if you've got any sense or class. Every footballer wants to play for Manchester United. Nobody cares about your new money, Paris Saint-Germain. Uh, we don't know what he'd do though. The other question is, where would Di Maria fit into Van Hout? He's not a wing back, so where would you play him? And if we're going to buy him, does that mean we're only using this system whilst we've got these players? Once we've got better players, we'll go back to a more traditional formation of like 4 4 2 or a diamond or something. What's going on? Where would he fit? You're not going to spend £60 million on a player and go, I don't really fit in the team. So I don't even know if that's true. I don't even know if we want him because he doesn't fit. Another player we're being linked to who is a winger but could play as a right wing back is Juan Cuadrado, uh, who according to Sport in Spain, who we've no reason to believe, they make up stuff as much as all the English papers, they say that United have an agreement with the player and are ahead of uh, Barcelona in terms of getting a deal done. They said that Barcelona really want him, but that United are favourites and in a better position to land the player. As I say, we've no reason to believe that, but that's what they're saying in Spain. Over in England, the Metro are saying that Chelsea want him. And at the end of their article, they, their closing line is, Mourinho has recently insisted he doesn't want to add to his squad. 
they just contradicted their whole page. Doesn't make any sense. Um, so anybody coming in with no idea, maybe Rocco, maybe not. Uh, ins and outs, the Daily Mail published their list of players that are leaving, uh, Hernandez, Fellaini, Anderson, Nani, Zaha, Van Persie. You still listening? Said Van Persie, didn't I? That was a joke. Um, all the usual suspects, they've just picked the players that aren't as good as the other players without any real thought process. But they have added Raphael into the mix, which is interesting because no club in history, surely, has ever gone, let's get rid of our entire back four in one year. That'll be really successful. That'll be a really solid idea. Uh, so we can't imagine that Raphael is going to be leaving the club this year. We think that is bonkers. But they've written it, so good luck to them, I suppose. That was your Transfer Bonanza. Please let us know your opinion on the players we've mentioned and any we haven't. Write it down below, subscribe to Talk on Devils, share this with your mates, and like the video, because it's just a nice thing to do.